Greetings everyone, welcome back to another video of mine. Today's video I'm going to show you how to do this amazing thing. So let's start by um, creating a new empty scene. We'll make a new empty scene. We'll start by adding a triangle. And uh, we'll have to add it through a curve. Or we'll have to add it to a mesh and convert it to a curve. This is post commentary by the way. So we'll add it as a mesh. And as we add it as a, as a mesh, you will have to set the vertices. You set the vertices to 3 so that it can become a triangle. And for the biggest triangle you saw there, I put it as 4 meters. So as you can see, 4 meters is quite big. So right now what we need to do next is to duplicate it. By duplicating this, you know, in other words, pressing shift plus D, um, we will have many triangles and this can create an illusion that it's actually going forward, like a 3D portal. I've actually done this before and it did look like a 3D portal. So this is a tutorial on how to make a 3D portal. And now what we need to do next is to convert them to curves so that we can add a depth into those triangles. And you can do that by pressing Fn plus 3. That's for the laptop. It's actually function plus 3. And through that you'll be able to search on either convert to or just curve from mesh text. And now as you can see all of them are curves. Now we can set their depth in the geometry of the curve. So the biggest one is around 1 meter. And now we would have to set the curves of the triangles. You can set them however you want but I will set them however I want. And now that we're done uh, setting the depth of the triangles, it's time to get on to shading and the materials. So first up, let's set up the camera. Now for this, I'm going to use cycles, but to actually set the materials and so on and so forth, I'm actually going to use EV because EV is faster in real time. However, Blender 2.9 also comes with um, denoising, so it's not that much of a big issue for people with fast GPUs for them to denoise the scene quickly. But for now, I'm going to use EV to do this. Why well, use EV to do this? And so, if you make a new shader. And if you go to rendered view, and if you set it back to EV, and if you set the world color to black, you'll see that it's literally almost empty. What we want to do is to get its em emission like, glowing like. We can do this by first adding a mix shader. Adding a mix shader, then adding a noise texture. The noise texture is going to be like the factor of which shader gets the surface. And if you do it with the noise, 
it will look as if they are interpolating all around which can give you some really amazing effects you add the color ramp to edit the how much the noise will affect the surface and you can set this however you want So you may not be seeing anything right now because there's only one shader that's plugged into the mix shader. If we add in an emission node and unplug it to the next part, the second shader plug, anyway, you would see that this stuff has finally come out. You can see how the noise affects how much of the surface each material gets. With the noise, you can do th amazing effects. And if you put it at constant, it has sharp edges now. You can do this for sci-fi things. I learned this from a I learned this from a YouTuber named Docky3D. Link would be in the description. Now if we play with the color ramp and set the values, you would see that it's changing. And if we put bloom on, it will, you will see that it's coming together. We can set the color of the emission. And if we set the color of the inner triangle, the inner triangle, you will see that you know it looks more pretty, though the light would be dim. You can fix that by adding light however you want. But let's add an emission node to the material of the inner triangle, the smallest triangle there. Let's add color to it, and as you can see, it looks it's coming together. And we put it on cycles because the uh, cycles renderer has to do a lot of um, calculations for the reflections because of the emission. And you would see that how we use the denoiser. Cycles does a lot of computer and it can look really noisy. The viewport denoiser in Planet 2.9 is very useful. So if we go back to EV, you'll see the difference. Now let's add the um, material for the other triangles. And if we add a point like there, you would see that it brightens up a lot. So let's add the point light, change the settings, change the color, change um, the power, and so on and so forth, including the brightness. You can change it however you want. And this is like a preview of your final vendor. This is like a preview of the final vendor of the thing. I hope you enjoyed the video and I thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have liked the channel so far and I'll see you next time in the next video. Goodbye.